what is that, a real doll or something on the news? I'm seeing there. People are probably outraged that there's a semi-clad uh, oh, big-titted my God. mannequin. Those things are starting to look real. And, uh, <laughs> it's on the side of the road. Can we find out what that story is mm. about? Yeah, I'm sure it looks like the famous real dolls interesting. that you've heard about over the years, and and she's got she's a buxom, uh, buxom like uh, uh, blonde. Yeah, that's ridiculous. But, though. <laughs> and her bikinis on, and her boobies are like uh, you know popping out all over the place. Her perfect real doll boobies. Would you bang one of those things? Yeah. N- n- not yeah, in a, a second. N- I don't even right. have to think about it. I was I wasn't even going to say like oh ew, you would. Yeah, so I would, it's like I'd be inside. It, it would be so creepy. Be balls your... deep in it, and then when you come, you'd feel like an idiot. <laughs> what is that? Well, I mean, what happens to your brain after you shoot? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just like it really, it really is just an on-off switch. It's like your brain yells "cut," and yeah. you're back to normal. <laughs> and you're back to normal, I going, mean, oh, "What am I? What kind of a creep am I? Exactly. Who is he?" <laughs> <laughs> then everything just gets awkward immediately. Yeah, it immediately. really is. Uh, no, uh, I, something. The real doll. Yeah, his men real doll. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, God. Just put that in your living room. It's some uh, male doll with his shirt off. He's got his uh, shorts on, pulled down a little, and this real doll dick uh, sticking out. And not an impressive one, I might add. No, that's great your abs. average uh, would, you, would you do that male, as a goof? Real doll. It's not really a male. What? Just throwing the question out there. That's actually funny. Would you fucking like? Would you fuck a real male doll? <laughs> that's a, that's a good uh, question. Like flip it over and do it in the ass. Yeah, and and would <laughs> and kiss it because it would, <laughs> would it would be feel cons- no different than would, the female real doll. Would that be considered gay? Wow, we are all just silent here uh, thinking about it because you. Got- <laughs> oh, oh, no, all right, there you go. Would you do that? Uh, there it is. <laughs> there is a male real doll. That look, uh, it is. That it looks is, like your bathroom, by the way. His name is hey, Charlie. Wait a minute. That is my bathroom. <laughs> That's a real doll. <laughs> hey, get off that picture. <laughs> it's a, a real doll, uh, and it's it's bent over the edge of the tub. It's kneeling in the bathtub, a little bubble bath thing going on. There's a few soapy suds on his glistening back, and uh, it is in perfect position to get in the tub and rail in the hiney hole. <laughs> uh, but, but again, the soapy, would you do that? Uh, because because it is exactly the same material as the female real doll. So is it real life. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, <laughs> an asshole's an asshole. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> Jesus, Danny. What? Ah, now it's sitting on the edge of the tub with a close up to its schween. Ah, <laughs> uh, what what the hell? What the hell? You would go? No, no, no. I'm oh, saying, what the hell me. would you? I don't know. That's a little rough, to be honest with you. It's all you've you've had, except your hand. All right. I don't you mind. Lo- you lost your arms in a horrible accident. You can't jack off. Mm. Uh, it's all there is laying around the house is a male doll, a real doll. Uh, nice, slippery asshole available. I'm not playing this game. How, how long do you think I've been around, you idiot? <laughs> what? You don't want to hear the, you homo, after you answer yes? <laughs> We started this game together. Uh, uh, that would be a little, a uh, little, a little rough. That's a little rough. Yeah, I used to like. I used yeah. to build women when I was like, you know, just you started did. starting off my jerking off grave uh, robbing. <laughs> How'd you build them? Ah, you use pillows and stuff. Oh, things like that. Yeah, that's why doing a real doll of the female variety would be very easy. You didn't build a woman when you were growing up, Mars. No, I did not. I never called it building a woman. I just like Hispanic, finding right? Shit to... Yes, that's why. Exactly. Hispanics. Just, uh, Hispanics. plantains. <laughs> Hispanics were thrown into that, that sex world nice and early. Did I you shower with Dad? Stepped out of something that could have got me in trouble, see? Oh, what I did... want people to know when I use my, my mental filter. What it's like saying? instead of making a, a fake uh, woman, building a woman, yeah. he would just them. <laughs> you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, well, you you're can not think up whatever word you Mars. want, but <laughs> it's a horrible, horrible depiction of Hispanic people that I did not want to on the air. All right. How much? How much are they, uh, Danny? Some of these are fucking amazing. Oh yeah, we've talked yeah, to this they, guy over the years. Pricey. I think they're like six grand or something like that. Oh my yeah. god, really? Yeah. Six grand to fuck something that doesn't change shape? You make your money back in uh, a few uh, prostitution deals you might have done. Few dates you might have gone on. There's a she-mail option. Alone. A she-mail option. Yeah. Well, punch that up. 
Yeah, sixty okay. sixty five hundred dollars plus uh, I guess shipping. What would you do yeah. the f- the shemale uh, uh, real doll? No. In a pinch. Nah, that's rough. Let's see. What what do they look like? I, I guess they're just the female ones with a dick. Yeah, with a cock on. All right. Uh, then you got to do it in the ass, right? Yeah, they got. They You're should... not giving it a reach around. It's a doll. You don't have to make it feel good. Trannies, females, no way. But it's not no a way. tranny. It's a female real doll with a plastic. Because uh... it comes down to this: you could smell male. Yeah, but not on the real doll. Oh, that's a good. Point. I'm talking about the real right, doll, no, not real in real life. Screw that. I'm talking. No, screw that. But uh, forget <laughs> that. Uh, the real doll is nothing but a a female real doll with an appendage. And, and I guess authentic uh, uh, anal features. <laughs> now, you're not giving it a handy because you don't have to make it feel good. To me, I would equate that to a woman who likes just putting a strap on on, but doesn't want to do you uh, with the strap on, and then you bang her in the ass while she's wearing a strap on. Would your girlfriend get mad though? Like, what is All that? Right. All right, look, it does have that's plastic balls. That's a real doll. <laughs> that's a real doll tranny. No, it's no, a chick. no, no, that's, no, a, that's chick. a chick. It fact, looked like it had a. Oh, it looked so like doesn't balls. Doesn't have a cock. That's a chick. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I had that all mixed up for all these years. <laughs> Jesus, I better switch back. <laughs> Ow! How, how do you look? I wonder. It's so go. hard to sit down every day. <laughs> All right. Look how they can pose them in all kinds of various uh, real life they, positions. The problem is they don't have the eyes right yet. No, no that's kind of creepy looking at those lifeless dead eyes like a doll's eyes. Because the eyes makes it look like you're uh, banging a corpse. Yeah. Problem is, where do you put them when company comes over? In the yeah, they're a little big to just kind of stash somewhere. Mm-hmm. And if you want to show people your house, put it under your bed. <laughs> that's kind of creepy. Imagine. Can you pose them, Danny? Yeah, I think of they're like fully posable. Yeah, you move them around. I've seen documentaries where like guys are obsessed with these things. Yeah, I saw that one on uh, HBO. Real sex. Real sex. It's an old uh, documentary, but it's so creepy. Remember the couple that wanted to have the threesome? So they got the real doll and put, brought it in the pool with them, and it just looked so silly. Mm-hmm. She's licking box on a fucking, you know. I remember that. It's like you might as well get the wax lips, turn them sideways, and start licking them. <laughs> I think I also remember there was like an English documentary where this guy, like he, he didn't have any money. He was he, there might have. I mean, obviously there was something a little wrong with him, but like he spent all his money on real dolls, and he yeah. had like four or five of them. Yeah, and he had would a bunch dress of them. them up, and he'd like his day was spent with the dolls, and he'd like pretend yeah. that they were his friends and stuff. Mm. Very very strange. Uh, Blue Healer from Kentucky writes: Stick to your guns, Opie. Don't fuck anything with a dick. Well, uh, he makes a point, uh, regardless of if it's a rubber one on a rubber doll or a real one. All right. Gordon from Jersey. How How shameful would would you feel cleaning your load out of its ass after you're done? (laughs) See, that's just it. That's the switch in your head. You'd be all revved up and frothing and uh, uh, grunting as you're just pounding away. And the second you shot your load and you know you got to clean it up, there it is just like (laughs) this rubber man ass. How do you clean it out, though? Like, what do you do? I go for a garden hose. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do. In the do. mouth, and it comes out the toes? <laughs> yeah. Mm. I guess you got to get in there with some kind of cleaning solution. And by the way, I like the fact you asked the question before, like, if you had no arms, would you, like, if you had no arms, like, that's your big dilemma. Like, <laughs> well. I can't dial 911. I can't eat. But do I want to stick my dick in this, in this male rubber doll? <laughs> <a> fake man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I had to put the scenario out there. If you had no arms. <laughs> if you had no arms and no feet. Like if you went to pick up important documents in Platoon. <laughs> <laughs> this is important. <laughs> ah, get me a male real doll. <laughs> How silly would you feel trying to nudge it over on its stomach? It's hard on it's keeping it pressed up. <laughs> Keeps tipping over. <laughs> Dick falls out. The Asian one, they, they bring an extra penis. It comes in a matchbox. <laughs> <laughs> we got one story to, to do uh, here. On the phones, we got Ray and Philly. God. Hello. Happy and Anthony <laughs> <Yeah>. show. <laughs> Good morning, boys. Good morning, yeah. Ray. Hey, um, my aunt was in a mall. Down oh, you could, Ray. <laughs> you could call me Ray. You could call me Jay. You could call me Ray J. Johnny. But she doesn't have to call me Johnson. Oh, 
<laughs> that should have been killed years ago. You didn't like that bit? Oh, that bit was horrid. It was all right. Ray J. Johnson. Every time you called him Ray, you would just jump. Oh, you can come. You we got it. Go. Well, what, uh, Mr. Johnson, you doesn't have to call me Mr. Johnson. You could call me Ray. <laughs> or you could, yes, we get it. Can Ooh. we try to figure out the worst comedy uh, sketch ever? That's it. Not, not comedy <laughs> sketch, the worst comedy, stand-up comedy bit ever. Like, the Ooh. one Ant just described, the Ray is right up there. Horrific. See, the only problem is Ow. we probably don't know it because it's probably so bad it never got famous. No, mm. it's one of those that is over-the-top famous for... <laughs> Jiffy Jeff's Jim. <laughs> That's a Nelson bit. Yeah. I, I'm familiar with the character. I don't know the bit. Yeah. Yes. Uh, maybe we'll try to figure that out. What the fuck is are we looking at? Is that a video of a man actually having sex with a real doll? Yeah, he's face-fucking a real he's, doll. He's, Let me see it, Dan. Turn a little bit. He's face-fucking it. What the f- No money shot? Fuck. Why I... Where's, where's, where's this, Dan? Dan? Uh, this is a website called realdollsex.com. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he keep the shirt on it? Yeah, right? He's trying to be sexy. How do you keep a rod for a real doll? I guess friction. Oh, that, there's the money shot you wanted. Oh, there's the money shot all <laughs> over the cans. All over the big plastic boobies. See, now he's got to wipe it off. That's called being in a hurry and not wanting to get in there with the fucking... He doesn't want to wrap toilet paper on his finger and scoop it in there. <laughs> and start wiping out, hoping he got it all. Because <laughs> yeah, you don't clean them out, you got a bunch of potato flakes. Hey, I'm trying to get potato flakes on your real doll. Your real doll's got danger from between the... <laughs> <laughs> These fuckers are funny this morning, especially. Hold on, Ray. Blue Heeler in Kentucky writes, Horrify the neighbors. Hose off your real doll on the front lawn. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That is good. What are you doing, Bob? Oh, just cleaning my cum out of this rubber doll. <laughs> <laughs> Can I borrow your hose? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, people say, worst comedy bit ever. Kevin Meany's We Are the World. You know what, though? That was relevant when it came out. It was kind of funny because he, he would, you know. It was good when he first started doing it. When he first started. We you didn't see need it now. It, we didn't need to hear it 20 years later. Oof. Hey, uh, Ray, go ahead. Finally. Sorry. Sorry, Not Ray. Sorry. Hey, so my aunt was sitting in a mall, uh, I guess it was a couple months ago, and some, she saw some guy standing in the, uh, you know, the front of the mall where the mannequins are. He's groping and humping the back of the mannequin. In front of the, uh, in front of all the people in the mall, I guess he had Down syndrome or something. <laughs> oh, <it> was... <laughs> He's sitting there going, going to town on this thing. Yeah, they'll jerk off at the drop of a hat. Oh. Yeah, they really will. Literally. A, a big, giant hat. A hat with a propeller on it. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those mannequins, though, growing up, you would kind of look at them a little you know, yeah. odd when you were a kid. Do you get sort of turned on when you see some of those mannequins without the clothes on? When they first came out with the nipple uh, no, ones. Get, the newer ones are, there's something going on But there. as a kid, that's when they first came out with, like, using the the nips. And they'd have, like, very loose-fitting clothes, but it would be just gently brushing mm-hmm. the uh, mannequin nipple. And uh, they were able to pose them differently. Because at first, they were just creepy old-looking mannequins, like like at the nuclear test sites in yeah. Nevada. The ones that occupy the house that's going to blow up. Uh, you know? <laughs> crash test <dummies. laughs> Yeah, yeah, crash test fucking dummies. But uh, y- you kind of started looking at them and going like, ooh, it's kind of... Mm-hmm. Kind of nice. <laughs> not, not, not too shabby. You combine Perverse. the real doll with robotic tech technology that the Japanese are coming out with. Say within 50 years, yeah, there will be absolutely realistic where you can program, say, 50 personalities into it. Yeah. And uh, it won't be on a lit walk and talk, like, just per se. But... Punch in cunt. <laughs> <laughs> just not give you any sex and just be a bitch. Just roll over. <laughs> 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 but uh, I guarantee you that there's realistic fuck dolls. Uh, within uh, X amount of time. And then, then the moral things will come up. How old should you make him? Can you make him his kids? Can you hurt them? Like, all this weird shit's going to crop up. I have heard about that, too, about um, uh, the controversy of real dolls being made into, um, obviously, too young of a, a form. And uh, whether that's um, some kind of a moral dilemma. Well, who makes them? Like you got to think, who's the guy that goes to the factory and makes that mold? Like that's got to be a business that's probably targeted. Yeah, yeah they that's... they showed it in the documentary. They showed uh, how they were made and everything. Hmm. A fuckload of latex, man. Yeah, well... you have a latex allergy. You just come into work the next day covered in hives. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dick is falling off. <laughs> Can we take a break? Because um, we got hmm. Sam went to the Chiller Theater. Uh, Chiller. Oh, uh, man. oh did he? That was going on. Right? He interviewed our old pal Iron Sheik. The Iron Sheik. So we got a couple uh, minutes of audio from 
the Iron Sheik. Fantastic. Also, Chris in Albany has given us a heads up this morning. He says, you have to get some audio of Ralph Kiner from the Mets games. Kiner's corner. Unbelievable. Is He's still alive? Kiner. Uh, let's, uh, if you guys could get a couple clips from Ralph Kiner this year, that would be it's good. It's a new show called Kiner's Coroner. It's going to be uh, – <laughs> no? That was kind of funny. He's yeah, yeah. getting old and he'll be yeah. dead soon. <laughs> he got a double, Sam. Fifteen <laughs> <laughs> times he's nine. <laughs> We got to acknowledge that Harry Callis died. Yes. And I was down in Philly, and it's all about Harry Callis. Uh, speaking of Callis, now, Charlie Callis had a horrible bit, too. That was the comedian that went. <laughs> what was his bit? I did a, <laughs> he would just talk and go like. <laughs> <laughs> I did a movie with him, and he was a very famous I'm guy. A, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> I don't know what he does. He would make stupid faces and sounds. Look, Kenny's laughing. You, Kenny looked like he was probably a Charlie Callis fan. Who wasn't? Back in the day. <laughs> who wasn't? You know everyone. But he was always on these variety shows. Him and the Ray J. Johnson guy. They were always on these Dean Martin variety shows. And Bob Hope. Hey, hey, we got Ray J. Johnson coming out with Charo. Oof. oof. <laughs> Would he come out and just oh, do his bit? Of course. Hey, Charlie Callis is coming out in a little while. <laughs> I need to see Charlie Callis now. Was it a funny bit? No! <laughs> Stunk! <laughs> it's terrible. Where's, where's Charlie Callis? That guy's fucking that real doll well. Jesus. Oh, yeah. He's deep dick in that fucking rubber woman. <laughs> just weird. like every woman ever fucks. She's just not moving, waiting for it to be over. <laughs> that is some weird shit. How do these guys keep rods? I could never keep a it's, rod. You know what it is? If it looks pussy, my, like it's must very be like silk. lubed. Yeah. I mean, he's not having any resistance problems. Uh, so it's probably just the physical sensation that this guy's into. Yeah. No emotional attachment there. He's spanking. Down. He's spanking it, which is silly. Well, we'll watch this guy fuck the real doll. We're going to take a break. We got to get Ooh. Charlie Callis uh, his picture up so we know who you're talking about. You know what he should do? Uh -huh. He should spray that fucking uh, shit spray in its asshole. Before he... <laughs> so at least you get realistic scent. Right. Put sushi in the vagina? <laughs> Just put some fucking tuna roll in there. <laughs> oh, god damn. What All the, right. That is that is weird. Fantastic. That's weird. Weird stuff. He's looming up his. Uh, uh, <laughs> he has the money shot. <laughs> nah, there's still more video. Right. Oh, is there? Oh no, he's just lubed it up, and now he's uh, going back in. Where's uh, I want to see uh, Charlie Callis. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that after the break. I don't How's know what he that? Does. Charlie Callis stinks. Hit me with a break. We'll continue. Opie and Anthony and little Jimmy.